how are you guys doing today i am great and i hope you guys are having a lovely week so i'm back again with another sit down video and i hope you really enjoy this one too so today's video is about becoming the main character in your life so becoming the main character in your life can be redefined by anyone anyhow they want to so today this one is defined by me and i'm just gonna give you some tips and advice on how you can become the main character in your life you might find that you're always pleasing people you're always doing things and putting other people first now this is the chance for you to put yourself first and this is how you become the main character so becoming the main character first of all you need to redirect your energy to yourself i feel like this is quite obvious you just need to be the center of your life it's self-explanatory just redirect your energy to yourself how about putting less effort into making other people's lives uh, better and other people's lives a priority and put yourself first be your own priority just redirect your energy so when you become the center of your life this is where you need to put uh effort in distressing and de toxin from social media take social media breaks social media can pressurize you social media can um, cause you to compare yourself with other people social media can just overwhelm you so do less of social media and for people who are like me you are working on social media every single day in order to get models i need social media in order for me to do my job run the agents i need social media in order for me to be an influence i need to use social media so using social media can be a must in your life but then you need to do less of social media have times dedicate your time and schedule when you will be on social media and when not you'll be in social media people follow people who uplift you that will help you redirect your energy follow people who will help you build yourself to become the best version of yourself so as you center your life let go of past relationships and let's go of the thought about what your partner would think about the decisions you make so this brings me to making decisions for yourself in order for you to become the main character in your life you need to make decisions that have an effect in your life like literally how do you expect other people to make decisions on your behalf about your life and how will you be the main character in it you need to make decisions that it affect your life and make, and make decisions by yourself for yourself because you are the only one that knows what's best for you i'm not saying don't get advice from people like your your sisters your parents your grandparents and your friends what i'm saying is it's best to make decisions for yourself because that's how you learn that's how you develop that's how you grow so make decisions by yourself for yourself because that's the one key to becoming the main character of your life ever since i started making decisions by myself obviously not every decision i make my parents will be happy with but then the main point is let go of what other people will think and just think about yourself what comes in your best interest what is good for you for your mental health for your physical health just the best decision for you make the decision by yourself so another thing to become another tip to becoming the main character in your life is by romanticizing your life oh my god <laughs> i cannot say this enough you need to romanticize your life now on youtube when you see romanticizing videos they're more like going out um going to co going on coffee dates going to restaurants um buying yourself all this now we are lacking the main goal of <laughs> why people are romanticizing your life you're lacking the main definition of romanticizing your life so you need to make a space work for you you need to make something that you need to do it's a must for you to do make it fun make it work for you that's you making your space work for you that's you romanticizing your life so i run an agency it's overwhelming like it takes a lot out of me i can't be a model i can't be a student i can't just be running agency all at once i can be a content creator all at once and just feel normal so for me i need to make what works for me 
and just romanticize my life with what I have still doing what i need to do so i need to do the things that i show you guys doing and i still need to go grocery shopping and i am a content creator so i can vlog myself doing grocery shopping that's me romanticizing my life on an everyday to day basis not something that will be costly for me to do so you can start by uh prioritizing one thing when you romanticize your life you can start by just start off with one thing how about you start off uh with you love reading you love reading novels and you don't get the time to do that because you are so busy with studies you're so busy with work how about you take 30 minutes of your day read that novel that's you romanticizing your life how about you prioritize buying yourself flowers if you're a flower person you're always getting gifts you're always getting flowers now romanticizing your life is you always want to get those things and you just don't find the time to do that but then you want to so make sure that you make your space way for you by doing the little things just one thing and one thing at a time i can get myself flowers every two weeks that's me putting flowers in my budget for every single month twice a month i need to buy myself flowers because i want to romanticize my life so uh, for example, um, making uh, making your space work for you. I have another example of um, you see people being productive and certain being productive as waking up at five a.m., four a.m., three a.m. That's them being productive. But then if that doesn't work for you, why do you do it? Why do you do it? Don't do what doesn't work for you. Do what works for you best. For me, I wake up at eight a.m., eight a.m. or nine a.m. And trust me, I wake up at 10 a.m. sometimes. And that's not because, oh my God, she's staying home all day. She doesn't have anything else to do. No, that's because I want to make my space my space work for me. If I'm exhausted, I'm not going to be as productive as I want to be. So I prioritize my rest. I prioritize waking up at the time that is more convenient for me so that I wake up and do the work that I need to get done at the day. The main goal is getting everything done at the at the end of the day. It's not when I woke up or when I went to sleep. It's actually, did you get the work done or did you wake up and just sit? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, moving on to the next point. Uh, do self-developing hobbies. So, guys, I'm looking at my diary as always. So, yeah. Uh, the next point is do self-developing hobbies. So, um, the more you grow, the, the less hobbies you have. You feel like you don't have time for hobbies. You feel like you don't have time to do other things besides work and school and that's wrong that's you need to refresh your mind and in order for you to refresh your mind you need to set yourself time to do hobbies things that you really love to do and not just things that you really love to do but things that are self-developing for you so you can do a lot of things that will help you develop yourself you can if you love playing games on your phone, how about you download mindful games? How about you download uh, quiz games? How about you download Sudoku? Those help you develop your yourself as well as you getting the time to do those hobbies. How about painting? If paint helps you de-stress and let go of steam from the day, then how about you paint 30 minutes a day? You lose nothing when you, do it, when you are doing self-developing hobbies. If you're playing sports, it encourages you to, to exercise, it encourages you to take care of your health. So do that. Do those hobbies that are meant to help you grow. So next up is growing your confidence. I cannot say much about this because I feel like everybody does emphasize, like overemphasize about self self confidence and growing your self confidence. If you guys want tips on how to grow your self confidence, I can do a separate video on that. But the, the main priority of this one is if you have confidence, if you have self confidence, then becoming the main character will work best in your interest. Because when you're becoming the main character, you need to be confident in yourself. You need to be confident that whatever decision you're making for yourself is best for yourself. You need to be confident that what I am doing in my life right now is what i know and need to do in my life you need to be confident you need to know what you say you need to know what you're doing and it makes it easier for you to succeed as well because already you have the mentality and the mindset that you will succeed so it's easier for you to succeed you have the confidence to do things because 
confidence also applies when you won't be able to do a certain thing because you're afraid that other people will look at it and other people will laugh at you and other people will think that you're being ridiculous or you're just wasting your time i know what i'm doing for myself i know what i'm doing for my life so i have the confidence enough to say i am confident enough to say i know what is best for me and i don't care how society looks at it. I don't care how people look at it. I don't care what people have to say about it. I love it. I love it. I know what I'm doing. I have the confidence and I can walk and say and shout out loud that I know what I'm doing. So that's me having confidence. Things might go wrong because you, you can plan, but not everything goes according to plan. Okay? Not everything goes according to plan. You can always plan and things can just turn out bad. But then you don't need to have the negative mentality. You just need to have the confidence and then know that whatever you are doing, you will succeed in. So as you're becoming the main character, you need to work on letting go of embarrassment, embarrassment and people's thoughts and judgment. So this has to do with the same thing that I was saying about confidence. You will think more about what other people will say how other people will judge you how other people will look at the things that you're doing it's more like i love wearing short things but then i can't wear short things because i think society will think of me as the s word as the b word so <laughs> i don't know if you guys know those things but then i don't want to uh, say this because of youtube so yeah you you will think that other people will look at you in a way and in a way as in you look like you're ill-mannered you're not ill-mannered you enjoy wearing short things why short things so that's a, that's an example when you become the main character let go of what you think other people will see and view you as and think more about what you really enjoy doing and how that is important for you in your life that's how you become the main character of your life so I need you to visualize whenever you're becoming the main character, I need you to write a list. Okay, so I'm going to refer back to my list. This is for back in January when I was still starting off my year because I needed to do, I do this every single year. I feel like if I don't do this, <laughs> I just, I'm not complete. So the first question for me was, um, how, what does the, what does the woman I want to be look like? So I listed a couple of points. I listed 20 points on, in short, on how the woman I want to be looks like. And then now the question was how to be this woman. Okay. So under each point, I needed to give, give a reason as to, okay, I want to be a humble queen. How do I become a humble queen? That is be, by being confident and not overconfident. So I was working on the overconfidence for myself. I am quite an overconfident person. I just go around saying, damn baby girl, you can tell me nothing. So I just needed to work on my overconfidence and just be humble. That's who, that's the woman I want to be in future. I want to be that person. So now the question was how to be that person by being confident, not overconfidence so that's how i was trained to train myself and then when to be the woman now so this is this takes me back to visualizing you need to visualize the person that you want to be tomorrow ask yourself how you will be this person and start right now what is stopping you from being this person today nothing is stopping you from being this person today be that person so next up we're gonna set, talk about boundaries you need to set boundaries you need to set boundaries on what you allow other people to do in your life, how much you allow other people into your life, how vulnerable you get, um, and how you let other people into your space. I feel like without boundaries, like it's just like a, a school with no rules. Like everybody does what they do, what they please, and everybody does whatever they feel like doing at the same time because you have set no boundaries and you haven't set any rules. So I need you to set boundaries in your life. I need you to set set boundaries about who you want to let in your space, who you want to let in your aura. So yeah, for me, setting boundaries is important because that makes me the main character. If I tell you that I don't need you getting into my business, I want my, my love life to be private, then nobody is going to get into it because it is private. So that way, 
no one is going to step on my toes. No one's going to be asking me questions about my love life because I kept it private from the beginning. So that's me setting boundaries. I don't need certain people involving themselves in certain things. So next up, we are going to talk about gratitude and meditation. I feel like how can you be a, a main character when you have no gratitude? Come on, like queen. Okay, so listen. You need to have gratitude and you need to meditate. I don't know whether you want to meditate for your mental health or whether you want to meditate on a spiritual level. But child, meditate. Okay? And gratitude is important. I think for myself, I always say a few words of gratitude. At least three things that I'm grateful for every single morning. Because this helps me see light in the dark. So not every day is going to be a good day. So me actually sitting back reflecting on the things that i already have that are positive helps me put everything else aside all the negative things aside and tell myself well at least i got this i am alive today how grateful can how grateful can i be okay i am alive today that's all that matters okay oh my god do you smell the fresh oxygen mm? child okay not my hair messing up okay not my hair doing all that so okay i needed to dress like the main character okay i need you to dress like the main character you are not leaving the house that's fine but then why don't you dress like the main character so becoming the main character you need to dress like it you want to dress like someone that you saw on pinterest you want to dress like someone you saw on instagram you want to dress like someone you see past your neighborhood so instead of saving those pictures on pinterest how about you start styling yourself more how about you start being the person that you always wanted to become okay so dress like the main character every single day you're not leaving the house just dress nice for yourself just who else are you doing it for who do you want to be seen by firstly let yourself see how beautiful you are before you want the world to see and appreciate things that you don't even appreciate okay so privacy so privacy is a huge deal breaker. So I need you guys to um, let other things stay private. This is for your own, for your own health, mental health, and for your own good. So letting other things stay private, letting other achievements stay private. I know it's always like wonderful to post your achievements on social media. It's like I want everyone to know. I want everyone to know. I graduated, baby girl. I want everyone to know about a car. I want to I want everyone to know I just bought this new device so okay I get it but then you need to have privacy you need to have a certain level of privacy where you don't allow everything and every everything you do to be known about you in your life as becoming the main character you need to have things that you keep to yourself so for someone like me who's a social media um, person who is a content creator some things are not as private because i need to show those things in order for me to build my my social platform but then there are certain things that i need to keep in private there are certain things that i want to keep private because they are only for me they're only meant for me to to know for me to see so i i don't go around telling everyone um said i don't even know how to make this example work for you guys I am so sorry, but then like there are certain things that you just don't need out there. <laughs> there are certain things that you just don't need out there. Like you got a new job, you just started this job today. Why do you need to share with everyone on social media that you got the job? Okay, you can just wait until you at least working there for six months and tell people, oh, I got a job, so I'm working, so that's fine. Or you can just tell people, um to a certain limit you can tell people things and still keep other things private you can tell people i'm in a relationship you don't have to tell them who you are in a relationship with and how your relationship stands you can tell people i have a job i tell people i have an agency i don't tell people who works in my agency who does the background work or who whatever else is going on in the agency that is none of their business that's my business and i choose to keep that private so yeah so spend time with yourself like becoming the main character you need to know and 
just appreciate spending time with yourself you need to appreciate yourself you need to appreciate what you give unto others by giving it to yourself first like spend time with yourself get to know yourself better go on a self-discovering journey i learned a lot over the past three months just trying to figure out what i like what is best for me i always loved being in front of the camera being in the spotlight but then i just realized youtube might not be for me <laughs> YouTube might not be for me. I don't really like vlogging myself. I don't really like the camera actually really really focusing on my face So yeah So I just discovered that vlogging to me has actually been oh my god This has been so hard. This has been uh, mentally exhausting for me I don't think I'm really enjoying it as much, but then I just sat down and talked to myself listen to what I was feeling listen to the fact that okay I love vlogging but then I love vlogging my space my environment but then I don't love vlogging myself but then I really really I'm someone who wants to get some words across I need to, I love um, standing for a cause I love being someone who stands for something and sharing and advocating something to the world helping the people know better giving people tips and advice so me doing um, sit down videos would be the best way to connect with my with my subscribers and people that who want to view my life because I enjoy sitting down and talking to people like girl I talk too much <laughs> I talk too much like you see how long my videos are I talk too much but then I don't like going around in stores with a camera up my face I don't like that so I decided why do it okay just i just need to spend time with myself know what i like know what i don't like just figure out new talents i don't even know i can draw guys <laughs> okay my drawing skills are not that good i'm not gonna show you my drawing pieces but i didn't know i can draw like literally i just thought i just go around the circles and shades and stuff but then actually i can because i took time out of my day to just sit by myself discover what things that I can do and try to get new self-developing hobbies so you need to take care of your mind body and soul and then this is the last one for today you need to take care of your mind body and your soul I feel like becoming the main character you need to take care of your your mental health you need to know what's what's good for you like for example like I said earlier you need to look at um, social media platforms that and follow people who uplift you not people who make you realize that oh my god they have so much in life and just change your outlook change your mentality on things they have so much in life and you just want to be there you just want to jump and just be there how about you just tell yourself that everything comes in due time like everybody has their time god's timing is perfect you will get what you need to, you'll get where you need to get in the right time and the right and the right space so for you right now i just need you to be happy where you're at and i just need you to take care of your mental health just check out my uh, my last video and you'll know more about uh, maintaining your aura and so on. so you just need to take care of your body inside out take care of what you put into your body guys feed your body with with food that will nourish and give you energy don't just eat because your tom your stomach is rambling <laughs> i said this on the last video guys don't just eat because your stomach is rambling why are you eating because you just want to be fed i'm not going against having cravings and buying stuff that you really want to eat i'm not going against buying some sweets i love sweets guys i love someone's my new addiction mm. <laughs> my new addiction but then anyways I'm not going up every single day eating sweets, eating chips, eating KFC, eating nuggets, eating spay, eating Jay's grills. I'm not doing that. I'm taking care of my health. And also, while we are still taking care of our health, I'm, it's about maintaining a healthy lifestyle. And I'm still going to redirect you to go watch Maintaining My Order Blog, which is already posted on the 9th of April 2023. So just go watch that video. And yeah. So with that, I was saying, um, I have a new Instagram account. Oh my God, people are like, oh, how do you keep creating these accounts? What a child. I'm just trying to do what, what's best for me. I'm trying to, to become the main character. If I want to have five social media platforms, then 
it's up to me okay it's up to me so it's um called subs healthy lifestyle era i think <laughs> i totally forgot the name i keep changing it every single day to be honest i keep changing it every single day so i'm just gonna leave it here on the screen um go follow that instagram account that's i'm gonna be posting uh my weight loss journey so it's not really about a weight loss journey it's just about keeping fit about keeping up with the keeping up a healthy lifestyle because i'm not on a diet 24 7 i'm just trying to nourish my body and keep up the energy and just be the best version of myself so that's why i'll be posting the food that i eat um the workouts that i do i still not gonna post the workouts that i do too soon probably after july but then so far because so far i am just doing walks so um yeah you can check that out i'll be posting out my meals meal ideas smoothie receipts all those kind of things i'll post the pictures there so for your soul i need you to just the people you have around you, the environment you place yourself in can really have an impact on your soul. I just feel like if you take the time to go to a quiet place every single day and just listen to music and that is best for you, child, do that. Do that, child, because that is how you become the main character in your life, by doing what's best for you. So we are done with today's vlog. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's vlog and I hope you guys really enjoyed my sit videos. I know they're quite long. Like literally guys, they are so long. I also get tired when I'm editing because editing is so exhausting. But then I really hope to get this video up soon so that you guys can actually get some tips on how to become the main character. So thank you guys for watching. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe.